This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Charlie Thompson. In this week's broadcast, A Diligent Youth Stands for Christ, Master Guides in Training Get Equipped to Serve, and ASI Bahamas Reaches the Community. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. The church has always been a strong advocate for religious freedom, and it has become an encouragement for members to continue to stand firm in their beliefs in their day-to-day lives. High school student Kezia Johnson did just that in a recent speech competition held on February 25, 2023. The Eleuther resident was selected as a finalist for the competition when she learned that it would take place on Sabbath. I was very distraught when I heard about it. But I was, I was like, you know, um, it's my values and my principles, and I'm a Seventh Day Adventist, so obviously I could not go. And um, my mom and I talked about it, and we prayed about it. And the next day, um, she spoke to the di- director, and they made um, provisions for me to actually record it and then send it in, so I was not required to go into the competition on a Saturday. Johnson has become a veteran student orator, as over the years she has participated in many speech competitions. She is no stranger to these situations and has instead used them to strengthen her faith. I've had instances, many instances, when I did competitions and I stood my ground and God worked in my favor and I still ended up um, benefiting. So I think in the end it's God's will and um, he just wants us to do what we have to do. She hopes her story can encourage her peers and other like-minded believers to always stand up for God as he always will provide for his people. I think this can encourage other young people to remember that they don't have to conform to society's expectations. And I just want them to remember that, yes, we may be seven-day Adventists, and oftentimes programs or competitions, specifically speaking, are not tailored for us to join in because normally they're on Saturdays or Friday afternoons. And just remember that God's will is always the best way. We celebrate with Kezia Johnson, who placed second overall, and we hope others are strengthened by her story. In the French-speaking community, the Youth Ministries Department celebrated their Master Guides in Training at Camp Bamivoka off Marshall Road from March 10th through 12th. Under the theme, Our Example, French Ministries Coordinators Obed Dadis and Ignis Sterling facilitated the camp to equip the Master Guides with camping skills and recreational ministries for youth. Antonio Cadet from the Francophone Church preached an inspiring sermon to his peers, encouraging them to follow the example of Jesus in service and that in the name of Jesus they have all the power they need to serve. A highlight of the camp was the memory verse recitation and tent inspection by youth director Pastor Jamal Franklin. He reminded the campers of the theology of camping, to memorize the promises of God, to recall all the end of times, and to learn survival skills during the time of persecution. Master guides from the Bethel Seventh-day Adventist Church received commemorative pins for reciting from memory the memory verses for the weekend. It was a wonderful weekend for the Master Guides who are committed to serving the adventurers and pathfinders in their local churches. And the ASI Bahamas chapter is on the move once again. On Sabbath, February 25, 2023, at 4 p.m., the ASI Bahamas chapter partnered with Prison Fellowship and the Adventist Health Professionals Association, AHPA, along with other stakeholders to share Christ in the marketplace. The community outreach was launched in Montel Heights Park off Robinson Road, Nassau, Bahamas, where literature and healthy treats were distributed, and community residents were able to receive free health screenings. ASI President Ian Green also brought brief remarks to those present at the outreach. ASI Bahamas, AHPA, and Prison Fellowship plan to continue with future community outreach events as they continue to share Christ in the marketplace. After this commercial break, we will have more on what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference.
For the first time in history, the Inter-American Vision Pathfinder Campery will be held on the beautiful island of Jamaica, Montego Bay, from April 4th to the 8th, 2023. Pathfinders in the Cayman Islands. Pathfinders in the North Bahamas. Pathfinders in the South Bahamas Conference. Pathfinders in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Get ready to join us in Montego Bay, Jamaica, April 4th to 8th, 2023. Come secure your spot. Register now. Come pitch your tent under the starry sky. Come enjoy the outdoor experiences. Come, let's worship and fellowship together. Pathfinders in Michigan. I will go. 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 Will you? And coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, Global Youth Day is quickly approaching. Under the theme, Love is a Verb, youth groups and directors of the churches will be going out in their communities on Sabbath, March 18, 2023. On Sabbath afternoon, there will be a Global Youth Day march and rally. Ask your Pathfinder director and AY leader for more details. From Sunday, March 19th to March 25th, at the Living Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church, Pathfinders, Master Guides, and Adventist Youth will join for one week of Spring Youth Evangelism. The services will be 7 p.m. nightly with Thursday off and 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Sabbath, March 25, 2023. It will be a time of musical drama, deliverance, and decisions. You don't want to miss it. The Good News Community Services Department is holding its first of many backyard farming Produce Days on the church grounds on Sunday, March 26, 2023. They're inviting everyone to come out and see the many plants that will be available, such as soursop, sugar apple, breadfruit, guava, thyme, and pineapples. The proceeds from this event will support the Community Services Department. Join the Johnson Park Church as they celebrate 60 years of building by faith, encouraging each other, from April 16th through 30th. This family-centered church is grateful for being God's hands, eyes, and feet in the Chippingham community. The church has several events planned, including a fun run walk, a food giveaway, and community health assessment, a prayer and thanksgiving service, and a gala banquet. The Atlantic Caribbean Union will host the Sabbath School Congress on April 14th through 15th, 2023. The training program will begin Friday evening on Zoom and will continue at the Hillview Church on Sabbath morning from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And the Inter-American Division's ASI convention will be held in Montego Bay, Jamaica from August 16th through 23rd. All persons interested in going are asked to call 556-0492 or email the Bahamas ASI chapter at asibahamas242 at gmail.com. Feel free to visit the South Bahamas Conference website at southbahamasconference.org to receive more information on all of our upcoming conference events. There, you can also view a rebroadcast of our Adventist News Update, along with other local programming from our cable channel, ATV 658. Read the weekly logos, as well as the Adventist page from the Nassau Guardian. are what you eat no matter what you think or what you like. Poor, refined, high-fat, fast foods build poor blood that produces weak bodies that won't last very long. Use whole grains like whole wheat bread and whole grain cereal instead of white bread, sugar pops, or other refined grains and cereal. Trim away fat and skin from chicken. Choose low-fat milk and other low-fat food items or plant-based milks such as almond or soy. Use less fried foods, margarines, mayonnaise, salad dressing and oil. If you do use them, use them very sparingly. Eat breakfast. Breakfast skippers eat more later and many breakfast skippers are overweight. 
eat at regular hours, not more than three meals per day, and light suppers, no between meal snacks. Now this does not apply to those on insulin who are diabetic. You can take charge of your health and increase your quality of life. God wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. This is Ida May Hannah challenging you to take charge of your health. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network with our news feature from around the world. Religion and freedom of expression was the theme of the Conference Conscience and Liberty 2023, organized by the International Association for the Defense of Religious Liberty, AIDLR. The conference held in Lisbon, Portugal, brought together renowned experts and thinkers in the area of freedom of conscience, worship, and religion. Attendees discussed law, history, theology, and culture. Paulo Macedo, Secretary General of the International Association for the Defense of Religious Liberty, explained, the theme of this conference, religion and freedom of expression, was chosen as a response to a deep concern about the current tension between the freedoms of religion and expression. He added, there is a tendency to silence the voice of those with faith. It is necessary to reflect and try to help resolve this tension with the view that will maintain respect for both aspects of freedom. Well, that's it for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. To share what's happening in your church, Please email your news stories and upcoming events to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist News, along with other programming, and to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, visit our website at southbahamasconference.org. The SBC Media Network's Facebook and Instagram pages are filled with lots of material from the Communications Department, so you would want to check those out. And remember to subscribe, like, follow, and share. You can watch and listen to programs from our radio station, we're at SBC 88.3 FM, and our Adventist television channel, ATV 658. Get updates, insights, and first-hand information from the SBC Media Network as it happens. The programming from ATV 658 can also be viewed on the South Bahamas Conference YouTube channel, so feel free to watch a recap of our Adventist news. On behalf of our production team, it was my pleasure bringing you this week's news update. I'm Charlie Thompson for the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath.